G'day internet, this is Cat Tiger here again from Blank Cat Blues and I just want to do a quick video for you guys with a couple of um, quick tips that I have found out both uh, from reading about basic Android tips to um, uh, reading more into the Braille Note Touch stuff. So the first one was uh, I've already covered this in another video, but just in case uh, you weren't interested in watching that one, uh, this one's more direct to the point. So, the first one is on your quick menu. Locked, 208, Wednesday the 7th of December, 208 p.m. Get my fingers, damn it. Device unlocked. Okay, well I suppose you guys know about pressing space and U to unlock your touch. Um, but just in case you didn't or you forgot, there you go. Now this first one is for your uh, quick menu. So your quick menu is uh, enter with Q. To a brightness. Now this is say I wanted to engage Bluetooth or Wi-Fi um, quite quickly. Now. It isn't that much bigger deal to do it from this this menu um, in the normal way, like and that would be to go to say Wi-Fi, press W for Wi-Fi, and then we'd have to press Enter, and then we would swipe through, well the equivalent of swiping, um, to the button toggle, and we'd press Enter on that. But there's another way to do it, which we don't have to do this way. So it is a long press, the equivalent of a long press on the brown note touch is enter, I'm oh, sorry, backspace with L for Lima. Long press with the off. Now it did say Wi-Fi off but if I, it was already off anyway, but if I swipe Settings. back one and miles. then forward one, one four, three, five, eight, it's four, now four, connected. Settings. So I'll bars. turn it off. Long press with two bars. Boom. Five one four three five eighty four underscore eight settings. So with the off. That you know that's off. So there was that one. And I'm just gonna <coughs> pause for a second and have a drink of water. I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. So the other thing I just wanted to um, talk to you guys about is I have found a few reference sites for Android users regarding accessibility. So we could call it the equivalent to say Apple Viz um, but for Android and if you don't know what Apple Viz is, um, it's a website that lists uh, a whole heap of apps that are accessible for uh, people with vision impairment accessible via voiceover. So, and that's on all Apple products. They have categories and sections for each device. Um, they also list a whole bunch of other apps too that are not accessible, but they are using it to uh, warn people of, um, especially paid apps, that apps that aren't accessible, for example, um, Candy Crush Saga. <laughs> but that's not paid, is it? Um, yeah, but those sort of games that that were huge and whether or not they were accessible so uh, yeah <clears throat> so I will list there's two of them I found and I will list them actually three but um, I'll try and find the third one I will list those addresses in the description box below so yeah I found a few games from these sites because I'm a huge games fan and um, yeah, so yes, I found a few games. So I think there's also utility apps as well. I haven't really had a good look at the um, big site. I think it's called Android Access, um, just off the top of my head of the big site that's sort of the equivalent to Apple Viz, we'll call it that. And um, yeah, so there's a whole heap of apps on that site ranging from productivity to uh, utility types uh, to games so 
hopefully uh, you guys found this this video interesting uh, I hope you found it helpful uh, at the very least I hope you found it well entertaining so I'm gonna end this video for now and I will see you guys in another video thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and well if you have you rock um, I appreciate it feel free to share um, and uh, yeah as always Take care and happy gaming. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Smiley emoji.